Uh, new tonight? Oh dear. You're paying big bucks for a big bronze sculpture. It's the newest high-priced art project planned for the city. And that has ABC6 investigator Brooks DeRose on Waste Watch tonight. He joins us live from downtown. Brooks? Well, we are at Genoa Park, where you'll soon have some company by the Scioto River. The word Scioto means hairy deer, after all. So you can come into the park, put down a seat, and then prop up your feet and enjoy some lounging time with two new friends, giant bronze deer, because after all, you're paying to get those deer right here. It's a vision that rises high above the city skyscrapers, a plan for public art popping up to put Columbus on the revitalization map. ABC6 investigators started tracking it all. Hundreds of thousands of taxpayer dollars spent on artwork. We dug into a special project headed up by the Columbus Art Commission. A panel sought out more than 100 artists worldwide to submit their designs for downtown. One of man's great uh, desires is to create something that will outlive him. And I do that every day. Artist Alan Cottrell feels slighted. Around every corner, bronze sculptures surround you at his studio in Zanesville. I'm God when I do this. But he wasn't even invited to submit an art plan. Not even to get a phone call and not even to be considered for the casting. Yeah, I feel neglected. Instead, meeting minutes and approved project records we obtained show it will cost taxpayers $280,000. What is it? Two giant humanized bronze deer planned for the banks of the Scioto River in Genoa Park. Well, the amount of money spent on art is a very small, small, small piece in comparison to uh, the entire amount that one spends on revitalizing an area. Remember Flowing Kiss? It was the original design winner for North Bank Park, costing you $250,000. A consultant was hired for $20,000 to oversee the project. But the city tells us the Scioto Lounge proposal was so well received, the committee decided to clear the way for that project too, taking another $280,000 from city taxpayers. <laughs> well, the artist got a great deal, that's all I have to say. I, I'd like some projects like that. The project contract and artist details are still being drawn up. Like no horns, the kids might get impaled. Maybe the legs on this one should be crossed. Or no sex, parents might be damaged psychologically. We talked to the artist who says he will cast and create his deer in Walla Walla, Washington, hundreds of miles away, and it's all costing you. Government waste is what it is. I mean, shame on them. They, they could easily have gotten a couple of art professors at Ohio State to oversee it. In fact, Cottrell already has two works at OSU. Look familiar? And we kind of think he's a winner. Woody Hayes. How about this guy? America's black streak, Jesse Owen. The world's most superb runner makes the others look as if they're walking. Both sculptures just part of Cottrell's portfolio. Nobody produces as much work as I do. As you can see, there's 500 bronze statues here. I have over a hundred monumental scale statues around the country. Project organizers didn't want to talk on camera, but say they're working on building a public art collection to draw visitors. But since an Ohio artist was not picked to put artwork in this park, Cottrell is up in arms. They didn't need to spend that much money on something like this. They could have gotten five times the amount of art for half the price. While the city did consider local, national, and international artists, some like Cottrell are taking aim on the process, the decision making, and at the end of the day, how and where your money is being invested. The Scioto Lounge proposal is expected to be all completed by next year and more deer could be joining us out here. The city says it wants to stay competitive with other big city art projects. Reporting live downtown, I'm investigator Brooks DeRose, ABC6 News. Thank you, Brooks. And if you have a tip for Brooks and the investigative team, call them at 614-255-NEWS, or you can send an email to tips at abc6onyourside.com. Brooks is also on Facebook and Twitter. So I don't know about you guys, but it's not the deer itself. It's the deer pose or yeah, something. Kind of Something's odd. creepy about They're those kind of drawings. Odd. I agree with you. They're out there. I, yeah, tough to tell. I, I like Brooks' style of live shots, though, with the chair just chilling out just literally chilling. on a night like tonight. How about <laughs> yeah. that?